Hello, and welcome to Let's Sip and Talk with Freema. Today we have on a special guest, and I hope I say his name correctly, Freddie Vasallo. Um, he is in the industry as far as producing, he's been in a movie, a couple movies, um, music, performing, and all those good things. So we'll wait for Freddie to come on and share his life journey with us and tell us how it is, you know, being in that type of environment as far as producing and all that good stuff. But as we know, make sure you have your Let's Sit and Talk with Freeman Cups. If you like what I'm doing, make sure you guys support. And that is Let's Sit and Talk. That is the cash out. Also, big shout out uh, the sponsor I have, which is Hubbard Rentals. That's in the studio I'm in right now. So big shout out to you guys. They can handle all of your rental needs. So make sure you reach out to Hubbard, M. Hubbard Rentals. Or inbox me for more details if you're looking to rent something, whether it's a mobile home or a building for your needs. So, happy Sunday, everyone. I hope everyone is prepared for the work week, for the school week, for the virtual week, or whatever you want to call it. Because I know a lot of us are having a time with making sure the kids are doing what they're supposed to do, especially for the ones that still have to go to work. And rely on their little children, um, what are their little older children, to do what they're supposed to do. So hopefully that's working out for all of you. So we'll just wait um, for Freddie to come on. Let me see if I can add him. I know where he's located. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning. So I would understand if he kind of slept, you know, through this. I would totally get it because that's the honor of him even getting up that early in the morning to be on Let's Sit and Talk. So, did anyone cook a big Sunday dinner today? Because I didn't. I'll probably get something to eat while I'm out. Seems like I'm always getting something. That's not good all the time. So, let's see. Okay, so I sent him an invite. So, now I'm just waiting for him to accept it. Come on, did anyone cook today? Y'all didn't... Y'all didn't cook today, anybody did. Oh, matter of fact, I forgot, tomorrow is Labor Day. So there is no work tomorrow for a lot of people. I totally forgot about that. So did y'all do anything Saturday? Did y'all have cookouts or anything with your mask on? Around family? Cooked on the grill? Did anything? Nobody did nothing over the weekend? Anybody gonna do anything today? Since probably no work for a few of you tomorrow. I actually forgot. We have a extra day to relax and I have an extra day to get in the yard um, my friends say I'm an old lady because I, I love doing yard work and I want to try to finish it before it get cool um, but it's taking me a long time so if anybody want to join me getting in the yard feel free to come on over um, still waiting still waiting y'all not y'all not talking I don't know what a cookout cookout said Luther I'm asking y'all no cookouts going on that I know of. And then a lot of people are still scared to kind of be around individuals um, due to COVID. You know, they don't know what the next or who the next individual been around. They don't know if they're being safe. So I don't know. They're probably kind of nervous. Um, no, Alan, I don't see him yet. So hopefully he will come on so we can pick his brain a little bit and see what's going on over there. Are you on your laptop? Can y'all hear me? If Freddie said he can't hear me. Do you see where you could uh, send a request to be on the live? I sent you a request. You probably have to be on your cell phone. I don't know if you're on a laptop or not. But y'all said y'all can't hear me, right? Okay, I got a request. And as we always say, fingers crossed. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yep, yep, yep. I'm actually going right to another room so I get a bit of Wi Fi. Now, um, for the viewers, can y'all hear me or am I echoing a little bit? Uh oh, I think we lost him. 
Cadence. Let's see if I have some earphones in my purse. We may have lost him. Uh, we're in a totally the issue. to go out and come back in and then I might have to put on my um, earphones because I couldn't hear that well. I can't wait till this COVID thing is over if it's ever going to get over so I can just fly somewhere do an interview and fly back home because the technology sometimes is like crazy which I know we really don't have too much control over certain things. So again, if it's something you cannot control, please do not let it or allow it to steal your joy. You have to keep on moving. Hello. Yo, the internet mad crazy. One sec, I gotta put a hat on or something. It's 3 a.m. <laughs> And I'm putting on some ear, putting in some earphones in case, because I heard some echoing going on. So, Freddie, I'm not going to keep you long because I know that it's like 3 a.m. where you're at. My bad, yeah. And I just, I, uh, there's actually a competition a day of surf fest, and I was surfing on the beach and stuff, too. And uh, okay. that's why I got my face all sunburned up. So I knocked myself down on the bed around 11 p.m., and that's where I'm at right now. So, yeah, I was sleeping for like three hours or something. Oh, well, I really appreciate you, you know, coming on even though you're tired. So, Freddie, real quick, just tell us a little about yourself and what it is that you do. All right. So, how do I get started? So, hey, what's up? My name is Freddie. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a rap artist based in Thailand. I'm basically half Thai Italian, so I was born in Italy, uh, raised normally like in Thailand most of the time, but I've had a chance of living in in the States a little bit, in Thailand and in Italy, so I'm a bit of a mix. Although I look Mexican, I normally live in Asia, and uh, I'm based in Phuket, the south of Thailand. We have a band called Southside. I'm signed under Thai Italian Entertainment. It's one of the let's say the most OG rap group that made a label in Thailand. I've been signed with them for like 10 years. And yeah, I've been, I've been rapping since I was like like 16. I've, I've had a chance to be in a label when I was like pre pre pretty young. I'd say around like the age of 20, 21. And I've been rolling till I was 20, uh, 28 years old. Then I quit everything. I went up to Bangkok. And uh, I'm sorry, I was always in Bangkok. Then I went to Italy for a while because uh, I do restaurant business. So I went to Italy for two years to get away. Then I came back. And right now, you know, I'm just doing, doing restaurants in Phuket and sort of back in the game. But I'm normally based right now in the South because uh, I normally have like a, like a duo. So one of the guys that I was with for nearly 15 years has been doing his thing solo in Bangkok. He's doing it big now. I'm in Phuket doing a lot of events here. So we do like competitions, you know, like events, parties, normally based on hip hop always. So I'm doing like rap battles, graffiti. We are planning a lot of good stuff this year, but you know, whatever happened, you know, you know, the whole situation with the, the virus and stuff. Yeah. And I've been doing a TV show right now. It's, it's called Show Me the Money. It, it's like those, you know, like how you guys say rhyme and flow, ry rhythm and flow, that thing on Netflix, the ones that they got in the States, in the States. So it's similar, but that's what I'm doing in Asia. It's like a TV show in Korea. And right now we're doing it in Thailand too. So that's just a little of, of, of everything, yeah. Okay, so with the TV show, are you a judge on there or are you a contestant? It's like a coach, something like that. So we, we basically, we select rappers and then 
we have like a team of tools and with day titanium we have a our group is called still fly then we got three more teams we select artists we you know they join our team and then we do little shows and then we compete against each other teams so that's it uh you can go check uh this tuesday it's gonna be on two at 9 30 thai time so i'm not sure maybe 8 a.m your time stuff like that okay okay so you mentioned restaurants so you um are you into cooking are you a chef like or is just something that you you wanted to get involved in uh, i mean my family you know we italian we can't run away from the kitchen so my mom she's been making italian ice cream gelato for like 30 years and uh, you know she do restaurant aside too. Uh, restaurant becoming more of a main thing. So let's say it's more like a family work. But I think these days, I guess everybody has to learn more than one task. You know, you know, people become rappers. They become, you know, film directors maybe. So I think you know right now the situation, everything. It's better to know more than one task, and that's one of the things that my family does. So for me to go to Italy for two years, it's sort of a getaway. I can't call myself a chef because, you know, I've been working for like, you know, like four years, five years. I normally do prep work. So I just call myself, I'm just a cook. You know, unless, what I've learned, unless you commanded a brigade of cooks in a hotel, you know, that's chef. But for me right now, I'm just a cook. Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up. I gotta do prep work. So whenever I'm in Phuket, I do pasta, I do bread, I do you know this dish. We say prep work, meaning we don't gotta be there in the action when action happens. We are there pre pre work time, so we prepare stuff, and uh, then I'm back to Bangkok again to film the show. So I'm separating myself a bit, and uh, yeah, that's. That's basically it. Normally, I'm based in Phuket. Right now, I've accepted some of the works in Bangkok, and it's the right choice because seeing the situation that's happening right now, thank God I still have work. So, yeah, I can't complain. So, it's work, 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 work. Work in the kitchen, work up the concert sometimes, and work in the TV shows, and yeah. It is what it is. Right. And that's and, and I appreciate you saying you gotta and I think we have a bad connection. But you have to have more than one task. You know, you gotta have your hand in more than one basket because you never know what may come along. So I know that you do you help produce like I seen a skit of the um skit of the movie, a snippet of your movie. Is that something you help produce or you just more like an actor in it? Yeah, I'm normally uh, like uh these are uh, little series. I don't I normally act as a bad guy. It's actually a uh, franchise of the OC, Orange County. Thai, they, uh, the, the OC, and I'm like, if I'm not mistaken, it's been a while ago. I'm like the brother of, of the good guy, so I'm the bad guy. I'm the guy that drugged up, steals a car, and goes to jail. <laughs> but <laughs> normally, uh, it's more acting. I don't really go in producing or writing no no i'm normally doing if i'm not doing music i make events i mc sometimes from time to time and i uh, and i'm in the kitchen so that's what i'm normally yeah based in yeah okay well it sounds like you have a lot going on which is awesome you know so kudos to you i know sometimes does it does it get like overwhelming for you sometimes because sometimes you want to just say you know i quit all of this or you kind of have the drive to keep going let's say uh these day and age at this day and age you always have to do something you always have to have you always have to be a step you know forward for me, if you stay still, it's like you're taking a step back. So you have to be alert. You have to be constant. You have to be in with the time. You have to know what's going on. I don't mean just in the music industry. I mean everything. You know, right now with the situation going on, you got new normal people adapting themselves into, you know, before people doing restaurants right now and doing deliveries. So it's, it's like it's so hard to be still at this day and age. For you to survive this day and age, you've got to be alert every day kind of work every task every role so nah i think guys 
I think these days it's so normal for people to stay on point. And right now, I need all the work I can do, I can get. So yeah, <laughs> sky's the limit. Still hustling. Exactly. Exactly. And Freddie, I don't want to keep you too long. Is there anything else you like to share with us? Any motivation you like to put out there? Encourage words for anyone that's scared to take that leap of faith and go out there and do what their heart is telling them to do. Well, first of all, I want to do a little shout out. I know the situation going on in the States as well. So, you know, not a lot of people know, but I was raised, actually, my dad, like I, I got a stepsister living in Phoenix, AC. So, you know, as, as a young person growing up in Asia, I uh, was in Phoenix and I witnessed, you know, going to church, Baptist church, and I witnessed the music <laughs> scenes that y'all have. So I appreciate what you know, the community of the African-American, American music, you know, just I I respect it so much because without y'all, we wouldn't have blues, jazz, rap, so everything. So that's one thing too. I mean, right now I'm leveraging, I'm eating off the culture that y'all created. So I thank y'all so much. I support your movement, you know, Black Lives Matter, everything. And, you know, keep going. We love the music you guys are doing. You guys got style. You guys got flavor. I mean, right now, I'm I'm eating up hip-hop. The reason I'm here is because of y'all. So that's what I'm going to say. Thank you. Keep doing the art that y'all doing. Keep keep moving forward. And I'm with y'all 100%. Oh, we appreciate that, Fred. We really do. That means a lot to hear that from you. Um, and thank you for sharing that with us. You know, it's time, it, you know, some of us needed to hear that, you know. So I really appreciate that. I know a lot of people appreciate you saying that, too. Um, Freddie, again, I know it's three hours in the morning for you, so I don't want to keep you too long. Again, thank you so much for even waking back up to come on the show and share that with us, share your life journey, give us that inspirational talk that you just did. So I appreciate you, Freddie. It's all good. Can't wait to share every video, every second with y'all, Freddie. It's always been a pleasure talking to you, and shout out. Whenever you're in Thailand, let me know. You're in Phuket, you oh, with I'll, me. You'll be my first call. <laughs> Thank you so right. much. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye, Freddie. Take care. Peace. You too. <laughs> so can you can you guys hear me? Can I get a thumbs up? Ooh, my hair looks like it's wet. Can y'all hear me? So I'm hoping you guys can hear me, but I wanted to stay on just um, really short. Yeah, okay, I just wanted to stay on really short just to say, you know, that meant a lot for him to take that opportunity when I said, you know, is there anything else you'd like to say to, to give our, you know, culture, our well-being a, a kudos, you know, a thumbs up, uh, saying, you know, we learned from you guys. So that meant a lot. You know, it, it takes a, a real person to actually put that out there in the universe. So I appreciate Freddie so much for sharing that with us and appreciating us, you know, and I want to thank all you guys for tuning in today. Make sure you become a better version of yourself. Make sure you do better than you did yesterday. And it's okay to give good deeds. It doesn't pay to be kind. Make sure that, you know, you just, as people say, take the bull by the horns. You go out there and you get what you want. You know, um, sometimes people say it takes someone to know someone. And heck, maybe it does. But you won't know unless you ask. Go out there, ask. Network. Reach out to people. The most they can say is no. But do not Put yourself in a background because you're scared to ask or take a leap of faith. We got to do that. And yes, Angela, working on the best version of yourself. You go, girl. That's what you're supposed to be doing. That's what all of us are supposed to be doing. And like he was saying, during this time now, you know, take this downtime if there's any for you and reflect on yourself and see what is it. What am I passionate about? What am I good in? And focus on that, you know, and take it one day at a time. It does not have to come overnight. It won't come overnight. Don't give up, people. Follow your dreams. Do what you feel you need to do. And don't feel any type of way about asking for help. Never feel less than because you needed help from someone. It's okay. And if they can't give it to you, move on to the next. Do not feel bad about it. 
And when you do achieve those goals, and if you did get the help from others, don't forget about them, because a lot of us do that. So let's not forget about each other and those who helped us, okay? But I just want to say information, because that kind of touched me when he shared that um, just now. But um, I appreciate all of you guys for tuning in. I really do. Um, I'm going to give you your Sunday back. Make sure you guys relax. I actually forgot we don't have to work tomorrow for some of us. So I'm going to go home and probably get in the yard because I can sleep in tomorrow and get in the yard again. So you guys, make sure you enjoy your Sunday, enjoy your children, enjoy your loved ones, and just be proud today. And as we always say on Let's Sip and Talk with Freema, peace and love.